The question we've been trying to answer is a question that has been under debate for the past couple of decades, mainly between linguists. And that question is the origin of Yiddish language. Now, Yiddish is a language that consists of German, Hebrew, and Slavic elements uh, written with Aramaic letter, and had, it has been spoken since the 9th century. Uh, the prevailing view is that Yiddish is an old German dialect, where the alternative view is that Yiddish is a Slavic language that used to have uh, Slavic words and grammar, but over time it shaded its Slavic lexicon and adapted German words. Uh, while retaining the Slavic grammar. In a sense, Yiddish speakers sounds like Yoda from the Star Wars universe. Yoda's language also consists of words in English, real and made up one, like walkie and Jedi, but the grammar is off. Um, Yiddish also consists of 251 words for just buy and sell, suggesting it was invented by traders. Language, geography, and genetics are all connected. The further I move away from England, the more dissimilar uh, the DNA and languages of the people that I will encounter will become. So if we have a tool that converts uh, genetics into geography or languages, we can find our answer. Fortunately, uh, in 2014, we published the Geographic Population Structure, or GPS tool, that does exactly that. GPS converts DNA information into geography. So to answer the hypothesis of where Yiddish speakers came from, we apply GPS to the genome of Yiddish speakers to find where their DNA is from. Surprisingly, GPS took us to northeastern Turkey. Uh, at first, we did not understand the result, but when we looked at some old books, we found four ancient villages named Iskenaz, Eskenaz, Ashanaz, and Ashkuz names that may be derived from the word Ashkenaz. This place resides on a hub of trade networks. Uh, this is where silk roads and other uh, trade roads converge. We speculate that at that time Iranian traders, uh, Iranian Jewish traders supplying the silk road, moving merchandise from east uh, to west, from Asia to Europe, um, identified this region uh, and made it their center. Uh, they converted the local population uh, and to maintain their monopoly on trade, they invented a secret language, one that only Jews can speak while they remain conversant in all other languages. With their secret language, they could move all their merchandise back and forth and move information uh, between East and West to maintain their monopoly. Shortly after they invented the language, they relocated the young Ashkenazic Judaism was relocated to Khazaria, and some 500 years later, when Khazaria was destroyed, they moved to Eastern Europe. At that time, the network collapsed and Ashkenazic Jews separated from their brethren of the Iranian uh, Jews and the two populations went their separate ways. Um, Yiddish was stopped being used as a trade language um, and was now start accumulating words in German while retaining the Slavic grammar. Our results are consistent with the Slavic hypothesis suggesting that Yiddish has a Slavic origin um, and that it has originated in ancient Ashkenaz that is located in northeastern Turkey. By applying GPS to the genome of Yiddish speakers, we were able to find ancient Ashkenaz um, and villages um, where the DNA of Yiddish speakers um, was, has originated probably over 1500, 2000 uh, years ago. Uh, the search for ancient Ashkenaz has been going on for about uh, maybe over 1,000 years, um, and now we believe we found it. Of course, this needs to be verified with archaeological evidence.